to the Macclesfield Canal. Well, we've pulled up uh, in thick fog uh, for the day and uh, the fog's cleared and the view is tremendous no complaints whatsoever morning everybody morning. it's raining Last leg to Wardle, we'll get through Wardle in a, well this morning hopefully. Yeah. Uh, and uh, then we're just going to head a little bit south on the Trenton Mersey and find somewhere to uh, tuck up. Uh, where this forecast to be a bit crappy for the first part of the morning but then pick up. Uh, and once we've, uh, obviously Wardle is our critical point because they're closing it on the 6th but once we've got south of that yeah. take the weekend off recharge uh, the batteries as we head down towards the uh, the Mac hopefully catch a fuel boat at some point top off that'd be nice uh, I, did try, I looked on that website this morning but they didn't really tell you where they are it tells you what the boats are that are in the I business think it, it, it tell you where they are I think on the um, weather conditions and yeah. so on and they obviously put a, they'll have a route, weekly won't update they? Yeah. Going around that put a weekly update on that. so we need to figure out where they are it's not critical critical we've got half a tank I think last time I looked so we're not about to run out but, uh, given it's winter and we're going to want the heat it'd be nice to top it off uh, <coughs> yeah all good really start on new canals again once we turn at the corner because we haven't been down that bit yet. So, be nice. good. Who knows what's ahead. So we've made sure we've we? really done the Langothlin in about five days I think. Yeah. Well Langothlin and the Middlewich brand. So uh, For us it's, it's good going isn't it? Yeah, yeah I mean it, you're rushing through it a bit, you're missing pulling up and having a wander around I yeah, suppose. Yeah, but, I mean, uh, been weather as much as anything to do with that, yeah. as well as the, the lock closure. But. They do say, and I think there's some some truth in this, that you don't need to have a target for, a, no. for canals to enjoy it, you just need to be, yeah. well I'm going to be wherever I am at any time. Yeah, but, uh, Hopefully after, from here on in, then we, we can yeah, do yeah, that. Yeah. I mean, we're still we're trying limits. to get to where we want to be for winter, obviously. Yeah. We want to get back home and maybe, well on maybe liberate that, yeah. a car so that we've got a car to hand. Uh, but we're well on target for that one. Now, so. so we'll, uh, we'll paddle on and talk to you in a bit. Morning everybody! Morning! Can't see us, hang on, there we go. Well, we've had a couple of three nights there haven't we? Yeah. Bridge 161. Uh, very pleasant. Uh, we're making our way down to the services at uh, Wishaw. 
Wheelock. Wheel Wheelock, that's it, Wheelock. Boom. Uh, just uh, stuck with water as much as out. I think we must be getting down on water now. Bins. Bins and the usual facilities. <laughs> we need to uh, stop drinking. <laughs> We've just been looking at the possibility of winter moorings on the Macclesfield, so that's a possibility that we're considering. Uh, we've got to get down to the junction, I can't remember the name of the junction off the top of my head. We've got to get down there, there's a series of locks and it's probably a couple of days from here, so we'll, we'll do a bit today. Weather's changeable by the sound of it, yeah, so we'll see how we go. <coughs> make his way down there. Uh, the first winter mooring is at Red Bull Services which is before we get onto the Mac just at the junction there so we'll have a look at them. Uh, but then the others are up near Bollington and I think that's probably a good option for us. So we're, uh, we're considering that uh, and we'll, that'll give us somewhere just to stash the boat over winter. Uh, well over winter, over Christmas winter really. Just a couple of months isn't it? Yeah. Possibly couple of months probably yeah and then we'll uh, we are considering just to fly back home for a, a day or two if there's a decent mooring down near Red Bull just to go back because Kids, Kids Grove station's quite close Bollington unfortunately is not for a station so we're going to have to figure out a bit more uh, something a bit more organised for that morning, morning. Uh, but yeah so on the move again now had to run the engine a couple of times to charge the batteries while we are here. We've not had any sun at all to call anything. I guess they were nice. Yeah, we didn't charge any no, batteries. No, not, enough, not enough power to charge batteries. Drive the washing. Yeah, we managed to have a wash day <laughs> and get all of that day. done, so that was good. Uh, we cleared off one or two little chores. Yeah. I entered the bilges again. It's the, uh, the one near the prop shaft there which gathers a bit of water as we're moving. All good really. Not filmed a great deal. Uh, I'm sure I've got loads of stock footage, although I won't have by the time I get to edit in this one. Uh, but we're uh, we're just filming the odd morning bit and anything interesting yeah. that we go past because the weather's not very nice and it's nice to it's sometimes it's nice to cruise without worrying rain. about filming, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So yeah, we'll puddle through here. This is taking us now through or around Sandbatch. Uh, and down towards Kidling, Kidlington. I've said it once, I can't remember Kids, what they call it. Kids, Kids, Kids Grove. Kids Grove, that's it. <laughs> hey ho, so anyway, if we do see anything of interest, we'll let you know. So uh, here we are at uh, Wheelock Wharf, I think it is. Uh, just, oh, just facilities, servicing the boat. Uh, just uh, moored up here, we've topped off everything, top water off everything, tanks all emptied, bins all emptied. And uh, just round the corner is the first lock and I think we've got loads of locks then. Uh, I suspect we'll be halfway through the locks before we moor up tonight. But, uh, yeah, it's been a nice cruise down here, it's a nice bit of canal. So a beautiful kingfisher, really vibrant blue. Even Carol saw it. She's waving the rubbish at me to throw away, look. <laughs> I can. So this is our third lock of the day. As you can probably see in the distance, these locks are in pairs. I guess that's because uh, in its heyday, it would have allowed more traffic up and down. Uh, Carol's just opening the the paddle's there to get the gates open for us. Uh, we've done two. I think there's another two in a row here and then a bit of a gap and then there's another six or seven I think as we're trundling up to uh, up to the junction with the Macclesfield. Oh, and I got myself covered in sludge in the last lock which I'm not really happy about but never mind starting to see the autumnal trees appearing now, look at these, these are beautiful next to the lock. Got to have a camera out really for that.
close that gate. If I close that gate and it's lifted open again. I'll sort of see if I don't know. It must be the water. Yeah. Yeah, you can see there the six historic working boats. All right. Board up in there. It's very renovated. Everybody, uh, this is where we pulled up, uh, pulled up last night. Uh, this is Malik's bank winding hole, I think. Oh no, Longthorn winding hole. Uh, we're in between a couple of locks and a pound. Uh, pulled up a little bit premature yesterday. Kind of wasn't feeling so well, so we found a decent spot here. Uh, get chains on and uh, had a nice evening. Just picked up today, so we're. Uh, I'm going to try and knock off maybe another six locks or so today get us uh, a bit further on uh, that should still put us on target for uh, back end of the week being down somewhere near the Red Bull visitor moorings at the junction to the Macclesfield well that's the game plan anyway uh, absolutely banged it down with rain in the night uh, but slept well uh, so I'm going to crack on, uh, forecast is for not too much rain this morning with a bit of luck so I'll hopefully make a few miles without uh, without getting drenched, towpaths are particularly sludgy though so that's not going to be very pleasant for Carol so we're going to take us time, take it easy and uh, meander our way down a bit further. So this is where we moored for the night opposite the Broughton Arms. Uh, had a lovely pub meal in the Broughton Arms last night. Uh, nice mooring this. Lots of rings. Family of ducks obviously. And uh, we've only got about a mile and a half to do to get to Cooper's Bridge where we're hoping to hold up and get a train home for a bit. That were some kind of aqueduct, but it would be. Yeah, it's got a road going under it. See the road disappearing from that side, and just. Morning everybody. Uh, we didn't film it but yesterday we moved up to Red Bull services on the Trenton Mersey. Uh, we came back from home, just moved the boat up three locks, only about half a mile or so, three quarts. Uh, this morning we're going to do another mile and a half, up another three locks and that will put us on to the bottom of the Macclesfield. <coughs> and I'm going to pop home again uh, and then I think we are planning on heading up towards Bosley Locks early next week uh,
been down and done it, that's why. That one side they were at edge. I haven't done this side.
Bill Canal. <laughs>